Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Our product title is Leakage Current Calculation for PV Inverter System based on a parastic capacitor model. Let us see about abstract of our product. In this proposed implementation, the main objective is to eliminate the common mode leakage current in the transformerless photovoltaic grid connected system. An improved single base inverter topology is presented. The improved transformerless inverter can sustain the same low input voltage as the full bridge inverter and guarantee to completely meet the condition of eliminating common mode leakage current. Both the unipolar sinusoidal ball with modulation as well as the double frequency SPWM control strategy can be applied to implement the three level output in the presented inverter. The high efficiency and conventional thermal design are achieved is to decoupling of two additional switches connected to the DC side. Moreover, the high, higher frequency and lower current ripples are obtained by adopting the double frequency SPWM and thus the total harmonic distortion of the grid connected current are reduced greatly. The occurrence of leakage current that can occur in photovoltaic system depends strongly on the value of parasitic capacitance between PV panel and the ground. However, traditional method to acquire the value is estimated. This proposed design is a novel 2D parasitic edge capacitance model and a straightforward approach to accurately calculate the involved panel parasitic capacitance. The parasitic capacitance are divided into cell to frame capacitance C suffix CF that means cell to rack capacitance CCR and cell to ground capacitance CCG. Based upon that a pi shape circuit model is derived to predict the leakage current in the PV array. The approaches are very useful for the evaluation of leakage current in the PV system. It is demonstrated that the proposed approach combines the ease of application and satisfying accur accurateness. This implementation is done in MATLAB Simulink environment. Next, we see about flow diagram of our product. This is our flow diagram. These blocks are used in our design. First one is PV panel. The PV panel is generated as per the equivalent circuit of the PV panel. After that, the PV panel is connected to the pi shape network. The pi shape network is nothing but is consists of two inductor and one capacitor. All are connected in a pi shaped. After that, that network is connected to the three base inverter. In the three base inverter is fed into the power grid. In three base inverter, uh, switches are gated from the PWM technique. In this technique, we using space vector pulse width modulation technique. After that, the inverter is fed into the power grid. In the power grid, the ground is connected between the leakage resistance and power grid. The leakage resistance is used to find out the leakage current flow through the power grid and PV panel and also find out the leakage voltage from this old circuit. After that, the PV panel negative terminal is connected to the capacitor string. In the capacitor string is connected with the ground. So the capacitor string and leakage re resistance are used to find out the leakage current and voltage. Uh, these blocks are consist the following modules. First one the PV module generation, input sources, DC to AC conversion, uh, PWM generation, pi shape network, capacitor string and power grid that is also called as a AC grid. The first PV model generation also I told it is generated by a PV equivalent circuit. In this PV model contains 72 solar array. Those are connected in series. When the irradiance value is given to the solar terminal, solar cell uh, converted solar energy to electrical energy. Next we see about running process of our product. In this proposed implementation is done in MATLAB 2013 version simulating environment. First of all we open the MATLAB window and create a new model file. After creating the new model file, arrange the element as per the circuit diagram. After creating the circuit design, we click the run symbol. Uh, then the scope will be 
open in the corresponding output the first one the irradiance given to the PV panel this is the unconditional irradiance conditions uh, the initial condition is 1000 irradiance and next that will be reduced up to 700 irradiance next one is the uh, constant irradiance condition and next one the corresponding input from the PV panel the input voltage is 44 and uh, input current is 4.4 and power is nearest 198 the before that uh, the voltage and current is varied up depend on the irradiance condition and uh, next one the space vector pulse with modulation signal pulse signal and uh, next we see about the leakage current is getting from the leakage resistance and between the ground it is also getting from the capacitance string and also the ground and next one the in output three piece current uh, this is the output three piece current and another one is the output three piece voltage and last one is a TST value of our product this is the TST value 25.48 percent the minimum value of TST value is 30 percent so this value is a safe value so the overall design will be a given a overall efficiency will be increases thank you for watching this video